Here comes Mr. Softy, the soft ice cream man. Delicious treats for the whole family. A soft ice cream store on wheels. Look for Mr. Softy in your neighborhood. Everybody loves the ice cream man. But what if somebody told you that Mr. Whippy had a dark side? A dark side filled not with crunchy wafers and raspberry sauce, but in fact a dark side filled with violence, turf wars, and in some cases, even deaths. We decided to dig a little deeper and investigate just how and why some of our beloved ice cream men have gone rogue. My name is Tony Pomper, and uh, I've been an ice cream man since 1979, I believe. I'm Paul Field. Ice Cream Man of the Year 2017 from Reading. Uh, Chris Noviello started the business back in 1979. Tend to do a lot of um, street work, and events, uh, town centres, mobiling, weddings, parties, wherever there's a need for an ice cream van, we're up for it. Some musical chimes, little button up here, my push. My signature tune is the Happy Wanderer, okay? So my chime is important because it's how my customers know it's me. And then that will bring all the children out. That's the signal that the ice cream man has arrived. You don't want an annoying tune. You want a tune what's soft on the ear, what's to encourage people to come out and buy ice cream. There are some uh, traditional ice cream chimes. Right? This vehicle here has up to 64 different chimes on it. We could turn up at a wedding and we'll do the wedding march or a happy birthday tune. The busiest day on, on the round of the week would be a Sunday. When the kids come out of school at three o'clock, they love their ice cream after having a hard day's work at school. They can relax and unwind. Obviously the business is um, very weather orientated. Uh, mad rushes with peaks of hot weather come along and to doing basically nothing when uh, the weather's against us. The weather's so depressing at times. If it's raining or snowing, it puts people off. But it's, it's that kind of business where you've got to be ready for when the sort of like weather comes in and we've got to get out there and do the business. The hardest thing in the ice cream business is uh, supermarkets. They're selling ice cream at such a silly low price. I don't know how they do it. They won't put us out of business because we're personal, we're quality. I've got a machine, an ice cream, soft ice cream machine, a Mr. Whippy style machine. Now, if I didn't have that, I'd be in trouble. So it's more and more ice cream from the machine. You put twists on it, for example, Knickerbocker Glories, for up to six different flavours. Got a twin machine, which where you can make a twin flavour. Cones dipped in marshmallows. We do the lemon sorbet. Chocolate sprinkles, a 99 with two flakes. You call it bunny's ears, and they buy it. If there is a street and no one sells ice cream there, you go there. And it's called a gentleman's agreement where other people then will show you respect and not come there. It was handed down to me from my father-in-law. So he was um, established uh, the round uh, in the 70s and 60s. Uh, I have over the years had certain run-ins with uh, ice cream men, yes. I'm afraid um, some ice cream men do get a little bit excited and it can get a bit overheated and um, sometimes bones are broken and there was a bit of bloodshed, but lucky enough, it's only minimal. I have heard, I mean, I don't want to say it on film, I've heard of, um, you know, some stories. I've never really had it myself. I've had incidents where uh, someone might have come up and said something they shouldn't have done. Putting, doing this across his throat, and pulling his window down and saying, this is my round, I'm here now. If they were to sort of like come on our area, we would sort of like inform them, if, you know, and try and get on with them. You explain to them they're not welcome and they generally leave. We can't tell anybody, but they can't trade. And sometimes a bit of competition is good. <laughs> it's not a job, it's a way of life. If you cut my hand now, blood wouldn't come out, raspberry sauce would. It's a job that you're born into and you love, you're passionate. And of course, if someone insults you, it is personal but it's something that we enjoy doing. But at the end of the day, it's only ice cream and they were here to make people happy. <laughs> oh! Even wow. told you you so bad. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 